it is time. It's time for a little summer front porch refresh. We have junk all over. We got our floors done not too long ago, so I still have stuff out here that needs to go back inside. Honestly, it's probably bad because it's been sitting out here in the sun. That was my bad. Um, <clears throat> I got some new patio furniture. We have tiles still left over that I got to bring outside. I got some new ferns and plants and I'm anxious to clean and redecorate out here for summer. It's definitely going to be heavy on the mosquito repellent and heavy on the citronella candles. So I'm excited to put this little patio area together. Um, I want to create like a sitting area down here to play checkers and chess. My husband and I are super into chess right now. Um, so if it's cool enough at night, we'll come over here and light a little citronella candle and play some chess. But I have a whole idea of how I want to set up this area. Um, our porch is very long and very narrow, not super narrow, but um, you definitely can't put like a couch or any like big items, big furniture items on here without it getting too cramped and crowded. So um, I'm going to take everything off here. My husband doesn't want me to pressure wash because we got our house painted and he doesn't want to keep putting like the constant water pressure on the house. <clears throat> So, hi kitty, I got a new front mat too. Um, he doesn't want to keep putting constant heavy water pressure on the house and the paint. So we're just gonna sweep. I think I'm just gonna get my mop and do a mop with my regular house mop and that'll just have to be good enough and then we'll see if I still have sun. I have to go make dinner, but um, I'm gonna get this cleaned off and see how far I get. If I could even decorate tonight, we will see. Also, if you haven't guessed it in the past two videos, I am pregnant with a baby number three. So uh, not only is it super hot outside, I am just hot sitting still indoors in the AC. So it's a hot one, but I'm gonna power through and um, get this patio, this front porch tackled. I'm excited, let's go. Hi there, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited to be getting this porch finally cleaned off today. Um, things have just been kind of a whirlwind with summer and um, events going on and trips and Memorial Day and um, this just kind of fell by the wayside. So today, even though it is so super hot, I'm excited to be tackling this because we definitely spent a lot of our time outside. Um, and I want a clean and relaxing porch to sit on and watch the kids blow bubbles and play chalk. Um, so getting this cleaned up was a priority. I put it off for way too long. I was slowly collecting the things that I knew I wanted to put on this porch, um, whether that be from Facebook Marketplace or getting um, a new rug and new cushions from Marshalls. I was slowly collecting things, but I was finally ready to pull the trigger and I just figured now or never. So I have my little helpers always with me. Jovi is my daughter. She is almost four years old. And then I have Wilder, my son. 
He is um, 18 months, a little bit over 18 months, and they are just the biggest help. And Jovi actually found a pair of work gloves the other day in Walmart as we were getting citronella candles. She found these and she said, Mommy, I need to get work gloves so I can help Dad in the yard. And how do you say no to that? So she has her work gloves on, ready to go, and she is just the best little helper. She is always willing to do something for me, to help me, to feed the animals, to sweep, um, mop. She is just a little mother hen and the best help, and I'm so excited for her to be a big sister again. She really helps with Wilder, and she is so ready to meet another little baby brother or sister. Um, I'm currently 22 weeks pregnant, so um, we not really kept it hidden for a while. It's just with kids, <laughs> you get so preoccupied by the third one, you're like, you forget your basically pregnant until halfway through um and so we finally just announced it to our friends and family and we're soaking it all up trying to slow down in this season um and just enjoy us four before we become a family of five so a lot of exciting things going on around here um if you're new here welcome i'd love it if you would subscribe i have a lot of diy home decor mostly seasonal decorating videos and um, I am trying to get um, more videos out as soon as I can but with two almost three kids you know it's a little difficult but if you hit subscribe and hit the notifications bell you'll know whenever I post a video and um, we'll probably have a lot of nesting content coming up but for now I'm just working on some home projects I feel like my nesting has already fully kicked in um, and I'm just trying to get all my little projects crossed off the list before we have precious baby number three here. I was so excited to find these on Facebook Marketplace. It was exactly what I was looking for for the patio. Although I don't think they're specifically patio tables, this set of nesting tables, this set of three, um, I think is for indoors, but I fully will use them outside and they're glass so I can wipe them off. I think it'll be fine. I think they're, they're gonna weather just fine. But I wanted stacking tables because I feel like whenever we're sitting outside, we have nowhere to put our drink. And also, like I mentioned earlier, my husband and I have been super into playing board games, specifically chess and checkers lately. And we went to Cracker Barrel and we were sitting outside playing the checkers, you know, in the rocking chairs. And I was like, we need this on our porch. Like, why don't we have this on our porch? So I was gonna do a DIY checkers table, similar to the one at Cracker Barrel, but I didn't wanna go through painting a table and then ordering checker pieces. Um, so I found a really cool wooden chess set that came with checkers. I picked that up and I'm just gonna set it on the table. This way we can take it indoors or outdoors, depending on if it's too hot or if it's cool enough, we'll sit out. Um, on the porch next to the citronella candle, of course, because mosquitoes. We're gonna sit out there and play chess, but I figured with these nesting tables, I could stick one under the other. We can pull it out for drinks and have our chess set sitting right there on top in between our rocking chairs or in between the wicker patio chairs that I just picked up.
and the next day has happened I finished after I laid out this patio rug I got this from big lots and it was 20% off plus an additional discount I'll link it down below but I got one of these rugs I I'm thinking about going back to get another to put under the rocking chairs, but I laid out this rug and then it was time to make dinner. Everyone was hungry. It was, we were sweaty and tired and just um, ready to unwind for the night. So I put this on pause. I am after it the next morning, bright and early around nine o'clock, trying to beat the heat, but it's already scorching out. So it's gonna be a hot one. After I laid out these patio chairs that I got, off of Facebook Marketplace, I realized maybe this space isn't what I envisioned. I had envisioned the patio chairs and us playing chess down at the other end of the porch. And once I laid the rug out, I was like, I just, I didn't like how this space felt with the chairs there. So I'm moving the rocking chairs back down to the longer end of the porch. And then I'm just gonna create a cozy little nook on the right side of the door on the, on the porch. So. I didn't anticipate moving all this furniture this morning, but you know what, that's just how it goes sometimes. You have something visioned in your head and it turns out to be the opposite. So I'm just trying to move things around, see what I like in what space, and I'm thankful that our porch is long enough that we can kind of configure different spaces to fit our needs. A lifestyle account that I follow on Instagram had mentioned that she sprays pine saw mixed with water around perimeters of her outdoor space, like where her kids play or they sit out on the patio. She sprays this pine saw mixture around to keep mosquitoes away. And I believe she lives up north, so um, I'm actually from the north and I don't remember the mosquitoes ever being as bad as they are here in Florida with the humidity and the swampy weather. Um, but anyways, I figured I would give it a try. So I got some pine saw, I brought it out and I'm just spraying down the whole porch before I lay down any cushions. I wanna spray the rug and I am willing to give anything a shot for keeping these mosquitoes away. So if you guys have any tips or tricks, please let me know down in the comments, Any, anything really that would keep mosquitoes at bay. We actually get it treated and we have a lot of landscaping around our house and we have strawberry fields by us with uh, retention ponds so I feel like our mosquitoes are just attracted to our area to our house so if there are any tips and tricks for keeping mosquitoes at bay please let me know I will be so appreciative. If you want to be all into flowers and gardening and you're not that good at it, then we can be friends because I feel like I have a hard time keeping things alive other than ferns. I've had really good luck with ferns. That's why we're, we're gonna keep using them, but um, I'm not super into gardening and flowers and planting. I want to be, I wanna learn, um, but as of now, I'm not an expert by any means at it so um, I won't be sharing any gardening tips or tricks but uh, we can be friends anyways and like I said the ferns I feel like are super easy to keep alive um, 
I don't know, I've just had always had good luck with them. So if you struggle keeping things alive, then maybe try some ferns out. Um, I've had really good luck with them over the years. Them and begonias, which I will show you in a little bit, the ones that I picked up. But the ferns just look super uh, southern to me and they're easy to keep alive. They look fresh and um, I just repot them and then I stick my pots in bigger planters just to kind of give them some height. But uh, if you struggle keeping fur or keeping any plants alive, give ferns a try. It's funny because my mom was a big gardener. Um, as I was growing up, she had a massive garden and I never took any interest in it. I never, I would help her sometimes, but it was never like um, something that I was fully involved in. But now that I'm older, I really wish that I would have paid attention and been more involved because I really do want to start a garden down here in Florida. Um, our seasons are kind of different than the north. We grow a lot of like vegetables and stuff in you plant in like late summer, early fall, and then they bloom then um, in spring. So during the summer, I kind of wanted to do a garden, but there's not much you can grow, I don't believe. Um, so come fall, I'm gonna try and, <laughs> I'm gonna try my hand at a garden, but I probably won't be sharing any tips or, and tricks. I'm definitely gonna be learning as I go. So if you have any tips for me, if you live in the South, in Florida specifically, let me know what you recommend growing and what I should know before I jump headfirst in. Let me know down below if you guys are working on any summer projects on your house or on your property. Uh, let me know down below. We actually have a couple on our list. They're want projects, not really need projects. We're actually going to be uh, closing in our side screened in porch where we keep our animals. We have a, our kids picnic table out there. Um, our dining room doors actually lead out onto our side porch and you'll be able to see it. It's kind of screened in on the left hand side off of our front porch. But um, we, we love having it, but with our growing family, we would rather have the interior living space so we are going to get that enclosed as part of the interior we we're growing our family but we have no interest in moving we love our house we love our property at our location um, so we really just want to kind of capitalize on what we have and enclosing that side porch will definitely do just that for us and we'll just have more room for more kids These are the gorgeous begonias that I mentioned earlier I had got from Lowe's. Originally I had I saw them up there when I went to get my, my plants and they were almost $32, which was insane to me. They used to be $15. Um, so I held off and I went back to Lowe's just to get ferns. Actually, I was not gonna get begonias this year and these were in the clearance section. They were 50% off, so I did grab two of them. And I like that they came with the hangers, um, so you, you had the option of hanging them, but they also came in really pretty pots. They're, they're plastic, but they look like actual ceramic pots. So um, we, we hung them up, but I didn't want to get enough to fill the perimeter of the porch. I didn't want to go back in and buy two more. So um, we just clipped off the hanging part and I wanted to just layer them on the steps. This way you can see the begonias as soon as you walk up and I can make sure that they're getting enough sun. But these are the only other plant besides ferns that I've ever had luck with on my porch. We have a south facing porch, so we never have direct sun right into the interior of our, our porch. So these do great in part sun, partial sun, full sun to partial sun. So those are what I grabbed again this year because I know that I will not kill them.
If you guys are looking for some good citronella candles, Walmart actually had a very wide variety and I this is going on day two or day three now that I'm recording this that we've had these out on the porch and I've lit them and they are very strong in scent. I know sometimes I get citronella candles and you can't even tell that they're lit or that they're citronella, but these actually have a very, very strong aroma. So um, I will link them down below. I just got them at Walmart and they, I think they were like 650 um, and they come in really cute jars. So if you're looking for something to keep those skeeters away, I got you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and turn on your notifications so you know when I post my next video, but I will see you in the next one.